Hey everybody, what we're going to cover today is an operating system that was released not too long ago. Most of y'all right now, if you're in the Linux community, know who System76 is. System76 makes some incredible hardware, but at the same time, they release their own software that goes along with that hardware. Pop! OS is a very functional operating system, and it's a very beautiful operating system on top of that. It comes pre-packaged with NVIDIA drivers and just really makes your life easy. Well, there's another company out there that makes some impressive hardware, which is Tuxedo Computers. They have notebooks, computers, and PCs. You pretty much can get everything you want. You can build it the way you want. You can go on your notebooks from 10 to 14 inch, 15.6 inch, 17.3. You can adjust it for deep learning AI, gaming notebooks. They give you a great opportunity to get hardware that supports the open source mentality. And not just notebooks, you can also get computers too. Now, for the longest time, they've run their custom OS that comes with all of their hardware. You weren't able to download it and use it on anything but their hardware. But recently, Tuxedo has made it available for you to download, which is the Tuxedo OS. It's based on Ubuntu 22.04 long-term support, and it's really a nice operating system. It's on the KDE desktop, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. I'll include all of these links in the description below, so that way if you like what you see, you can go over and download it. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to boot Tuxedo up in a virtual machine. Now, I do want to point out, once you download it and boot into it, if you're booting directly from a USB, you'll want to pick the first option. Now, if you download the ISO and you want to run it in a virtual machine, you've got to come down here to boot from DVD slash VM. That's just the way it's set up. And once you do that, you just hit enter and then it will start to boot. And there is your splash screen, Tuxedo OS, powered by KDE Plasma. And it's going to pop up right here. And before you do anything, most people will say it's not in English or it's not in your language. That is true, but it's real quick to get by this because we're not installing it. We're just running it in a virtual machine, but we have to set our locales up to begin with so it'll function properly. So what you'll want to do is come down here, click on this, and I've got to find American English, which is right there. So I will click on that and click Next. And then my location, I'll just pick over here and click next. And then pick your proper keyboard. I'll go ahead and click that. I know that seems like you're getting ready to install, but you're not. It's just setting it up to run it in a VM. Right now it's configuring the locales. We'll let it do that. And then we'll get to the desktop. Okay, and once the locales are configured, you're brought to the desktop. I love the wallpaper. I love the background. You guys know I point that out every time we do any kind of distro review for the simple fact that I think it's important. It's not only important to have a functional OS, but also one that is beautiful. Now, it does come with quite a few wallpapers. I'm going to go ahead and right click and we'll open those up. And once those populate, you'll scroll down and you'll see that it's got pretty much all of the KDE wallpapers you're used to. But then when you get down a little further, you get a lot of tuxedo wallpapers and they're all beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and probably pick that one and apply it. That is a good looking wallpaper and I think I will stick with that one. So if you do download it, make sure you take a look at all these beautiful wallpapers. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this and we're gonna look at the meat and potatoes of this operating system. You've got your single panel on bottom because yes, it is KDE and you've got your date and time over here and then all your icons right here, internet, USB, Bluetooth, battery, sound, and then of course your hidden icons which will have notifications, updates, clipboard, lock key status and things like that. First thing I want to do is zip on over to settings and we're going to scroll down and look about this system. And what you will notice right off the bat is it's KDE 5.24.6. It's not the newest version of KDE, but it is solid. And it is Tuxedo OS 22.04, QT version 5.15.3. And then of course, kernel version 5.15.0-148. Tuxedo 64-bit. I'm running it on an AMD Ryzen in VirtualBox. Now, I do want to point out real quick, I did try to run this in GNOME boxes, and for some reason it was giving me issues. I can run Ubuntu all day long in it. For some reason I was having problems with Tuxedo, so I just flipped on over to VirtualBox. You can go up here to Appearance, and if you wanted to set to a dark mode, I guess you would have to pick a whole different theme, 
So I'm not going to switch that right now. I'm just going to go back. And these are your KDE settings. You guys have seen me go over these a hundred times, so I'm not going to beat those over the head. But I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. So we're going to come down here to the Discover Software Center, and let's open that up. Let it populate here, because I want to see where we're getting our applications from. So let's just click on Krita. And right here, let's make that bigger so you can see. And we will go Sources. We can get from Flat Hub and from Ubuntu. So you're going to be downloading from Ubuntu repositories and Flat Hub. There are no snaps in this, which I kind of agree with. I'm not a big fan of snaps. And then you should be able to just do a search. Let's see if we can do a search for something like OBS Studio. Hit enter and see if it finds it. And there it is right there. So we click on it. And then the sources for it are from Ubuntu and from Flat Hub. So... That's awesome. That's where you'll get all your applications. It does show that we need six updates. We're not going to do that right now. So I want to go ahead and close out of that. And then we can come over here to the file manager, which should be Dolphin. I do like the theme that they're using. I like the silver and red. I do really like that. And then scroll down here. So that's your Dolphin file manager. It's really nice. Uh, it lets you get things done, stays out of your way. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And then, of course, we have Firefox. Now, right here, you've got the Tuxedo Control Center. Let's go ahead and open that up. This is going to be more or less used for Tuxedo hardware. You've got your system monitor right here. Now, I don't know if you put this on bare metal, if you're going to get an actual readout here. I really want to say this is uh, supported just for models that they build. We can come down here. It does say that we have four cores. And then you've got profiles right here you can set. Default, cool and breezy, power save, new profile, default custom profile. Then you do have some tools. Aquarius. Aquarius is for their hardware as well. And then use profiles would be default and default. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And let's come back over here and open the app launcher. Now I want to make this bigger so that way you guys can see. So let's go with the application dashboard. And let's go ahead and make that bigger. Now we've got recent, all. You've got discover, dolphin, emoji selector, Gwynview, info center, install tuxedo, Kate, KCAL, KDE. So you're going to have your KDE suite of applications, KMines, console. Let's go ahead and open up console real quick. Oh, that's pretty interesting. I kind of like that. Got the little fishes swimming by. So file, new window. Let's go HTOP. It does have HTOP. Right here it says we're using 2.15 gigabytes of the three gigs that I have issued to it. Now that's going to give me a different number than what I have on system monitor. Let's go ahead and look system monitor up and open that up. And on system monitor, it shows that we're using 2.5. Now, what applications does it show in the background? It shows that we got Discover still open, so let's quit that. Okay, let's quit. Now, that should drop down a little bit. That should put us, no, it still got us at 2.5 and then 2.3. Now, I know when you run this on bare metal, it's going to be a lot lighter because when I was using it earlier, it was running about 1.1 to 1.2 gigabytes. Now, I don't know with me clicking a while ago to actually download something, if that's still running in the background. It might be. You do have some updates that are due here, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And let's go ahead and bring that down and close HTOP. Let's go back over to our applications. You've got games, Kmahjong, Kmines, graphics. You've got LibreOffice Draw, Ocular, Krita. Internet, you've got Firefox, KDE Connect, KTorrent for your torrent downloads. VLC is your media player out of the box. You've got LibreOffice that's installed out of the box. Science and Math, Settings, System. You've got Discover, Dolphin, Info Center, KDE Partition Manager. You do have the Muon Package Manager. Let's open that up. I love this because I'm really a person that enjoyed using Synaptic for a lot of what I used to do. Let's go ahead and make this bigger, especially when I was on Linux Mint. Now, this is a lot like Synaptic Package Manager. This is more of a type search install type situation. So let's say you were looking for something like, uh, let's do OBS Studio again. OBS Studio, hit enter. It'll bring it up. Let's look down through here. OBS Studio, what you would do is click on it. 
then you could do installation right here. And this is coming from Canonical as well. So this would be in Ubuntu repository. So you've got two different ways to install software on the system. One is through Discover and the other is through Muon Package Manager. I would probably use this more often than not because I just love type search and install software manager. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. We'll go back over here. Where were we at? Settings and system. Start Disk Creator, System Monitor, Tuxedo Control Center. Virtual Box is already installed out of the box. That's nice. Uh, tuxedo, Install. We've already looked at the Control Center. Utilities, Kate, KCALC, KWRITE, Spectacle, and Power Sleep. Well, I will say this. Uh, I was a big fan a long time ago of Linux Mint when it had the KDE version. Uh, this looks like this could definitely be something on par or maybe even better. I just like the fact that you can get something that's uh, Ubuntu-based, long-term support, and it's on KDE desktop. Uh, I love looking at Tuxedo's hardware. I think they're going to go a long way. Them and Slimbook, I think those are the ways of the future for us Linux users. Uh, I do love the fact that they've went the System76 type route and are offering their operating system for anybody to download and install. But you do have to understand this. Just because it's built for their hardware, if you try to put it on yours, you might run into some issues. I doubt it, but you might. I put it on bare metal on an HP, and it seems to be running okay. I'll run it for a week or two on there as a test machine and kind of do a follow-up later down the road. But Tuxedo OS, if you're somebody that likes Ubuntu, and loves KDE, I think you ought to give it a shot. Download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine, take it for a test drive. If you do, or if you're somebody that's already using Tuxedo OS, please let me know about it in the comments below. Do me a big favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, throwing us a donation on PayPal, or zipping on over to Patreon and becoming a patron to the channel. Those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.